This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports authorities have arrested a 22-year-old man whose parents and brother were found dead in their East Texas home. Trey Sessler was taken into custody around 9:30 p.m. Tuesday. After getting calls from concerned family members, authorities said they went to a home about 1 p.m. Tuesday in Waller. There, authorities say police found the bodies of three people who appear to have been killed by shots from a high-powered rifle. Waller County Sheriff Glenn Smith says the house had been ransacked. The victims have been identified as Lawton Ray Sessler, Rhonda Weiss Sessler, and 26-year-old son Mark Allen Sessler. Waller is located about 40 miles northwest of Houston. From the Associated Press, Texas agriculture officials say the historic drought has caused record-breaking crop and livestock losses, estimated at $7.62 billion for 2011. The Texas AgriLife Extension Service's latest estimate is $2.42 billion higher than what was provided in August. In August, the Extension Service's preliminary estimate of $5.2 billion already topped the previous record of $4.1 billion in 2006. Texas' long history with droughts has been costly. Since 1998, drought has cost agriculture more than $14 billion. Corporate producers and ranchers who continue to try to recover from the driest year on record in Texas also dealt with triple-digit heat and windy conditions. Texas' cattle herd is now at the lowest level since the 1950s. The Texas Wildlife Agency said Tuesday it is suspending a policy that allows the killing of burros in a state park along the Mexican border after the Humane Society of the United States offered to devise a non-lethal plan to remove the animals. The Texas Humane Society reported rangers have killed 130 animals in Big Bend Ranch State Park on the Texas side of the Rio Grande since 2007. The state considers the wild donkeys to be destructive intruders hogging forage and lapping up precious water in the drought-starved mountains, thereby threatening the survival of hundreds of native species, including bighorn sheep, which the state is working to reestablish in the park. In Big Bend National Park adjacent to the state-owned land, killing wild burrows is prohibited by a 40-year-old federal ban that Congress said protects the living symbols and pioneer spirit of the West. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News.